Cosmetic Surgical Center of Osorito. I hope you all had a nice uh, long uh, weekend, right? On uh, what was that Memorial Day weekend? Mm -hmm. What is it? Lot of hamburgers, <laughs> right? Steaks and brats. Yeah, and brats. Yeah, that's what people do, right? We didn't do that, but anyway, um, notice the complete absence of bleeding here. Thank you. Okay, so this is an extended tummy tuck on this lady. She doesn't have much of a problem, but she does have mostly excess skin, right? Um, and Nate, do you see any bleed in here when we do nope. this? It's incredible, beautiful. This uh, yellow, yellow pot, right? Thank yeah. you. Okay, so what are we seeing here? The superficial fat. Superficial fat. And what are we approaching? The scarpus fascia. Scarpus fascia, right? Look at the pool of tumescent fluid we have in there. It's incredible. Yeah. Lots of fluid. This is just anesthetic medication. It has also epinephrine to clamp down the blood vessels, the little blood vessels there. You got it? Thank you. So this lady has what is called the linea alba, that hyperpigmented, darker area that appears during uh, pregnancy. It usually reflects the midline. So we're just gonna follow that. We didn't even need to mark her, right? We just follow that midline. Yeah. Um, and she also has it on top, look at that, see? I don't know if you can see this, it. a little more faint. But I wanna show you inside, look at that. How much blood loss do you see there, uh, Nate? None. That's incredible, huh, Nate? Yep. Have you been a nurse for 11 years? Long time. Long time, <laughs> right? And never seen anything like this, huh? Operating without any blood loss. You've been doing operating room for a long time, right? Yeah. Only here with us you have seen this kind of bloodless surgery? Nope. Wow, right. thank you. Okay, so this is her belly button, so we're just gonna go around the belly button. And uh, we're usually gonna do this side on a, on a Snapchat, right? And we'll do the other side on Instagram. Wow, do you see the big perforator? That's a branch of the inferior epigastric artery, actually. Uh, it's a perforator because it perforates through the fascia and we saw it even before, right? Mm -hmm. This is the biggest, biggest artery providing blood supply to the specimen. This is what what we're going to throw away is what um, you have in your hand right there. But notice how we're going to burn this, right? Mm -hmm. And electrocoagulate it, meaning that, you know, and now, so I did Emily's side first and now my side. Now I'm gonna go through the middle. You see that white part down the middle? Yep. That means that uh, we're gonna divide it. And uh, so you see the fire there? Yeah. So now the artery is completely divided and you don't see any bleeding at all. Look at that, incredible. Thank you. Okay, so this is an extended tummy tuck. My hand over here, I'm gonna go ahead and put my hand all the way up to the end of the chest bone. That's called the xiphoid process. And the rib cage on either side and notice inside how it is totally immaculate uh, and these areas the black areas are burned areas for the burned arteries uh, but she looks completely nice and clean the belly button in the middle thank you okay so now see if she does a little to let go she has a lot of excess skin and all the stretch marks i want to leave her nice and clean so we'll go all the way to the back thank you Excise, meaning we're gonna remove the specimen, right? And you follow me, right? Uh, all the way back here, right? Yep. Yeah, and so notice you can see that since we're bleeding when we do this, but even in this skinny girl, I'm gonna go all the way back there because, and I'm gonna flip it this way so you can see where we are. Because she has all that excess skin, right? Not so much excess fat, thank you. Okay, so notice how we're doing this in a completely bloodless manner. What we're doing is we're removing the specimen. Thank you. Okay, so this piece is about to come out, right? Yeah. Whoa, look at that. Whoa. Very nice. See nice. the thing about it? Yeah, nice, because there is some, some scar tissue here. I don't know if you can tell, there's a scar there. The half of it is on this side, you can tell, see mm -hmm. that? Yeah. And the stretch marks, right? So the scar and the stretch marks are gone, and no bleeding, look at that. Thank you. So what are we doing now? Making a new home for a the belly new home for the belly button is right. So what I'm doing is I'm opening this area to make a little hole where the belly button that's inside, our own belly button is gonna come out through this hole. So it's our own belly button, but obviously 
the skin around the belly button we already removed, so we're just gonna take this one down. Thank you. What we're doing is uh, we're making a hole for the belly button to come out of. Her own belly button, but that's my finger, hello. <laughs> Okay, so what we're doing now, this is a figure of eight, uh, so we do multiple of these uh, sutures, one on either side, so just in case that one of these breaks, there is a supporting suture on either side of the suture that broke, but we never had anything break, uh, none of these sutures have ever broken, but, you know, I like to keep it safe, right? And what this is going to do at the end of the day, if you come from the side, is that it's going to bring all this intra-abdominal fat down like that. We're gonna make her flat like this. Thank you. She is now on the belly button right here. She's tight and flat. So we push that intra-abdominal fat down, right? And we're gonna pull the belly button up now. Thank you. So what we're doing is we're putting the drains and notice the complete absence of bleeding. When we do this, we made a hole. This is a mosquito clamp and this is a Jackson Pratt 10 millimeter drain. And we put it in there nice and easy. Thank you. So we are done with this side. Look at the beautiful suture line, no dog ears. Come back up so you can see the the, the nice waist line, yeah. Thank you.